In this question, we're asked to solve for x in this long equation. The first thing that we should notice is that we have the distributive property applied to pretty much every term. So what that means is we're going to have to multiply this 2 into both the 3 and the 4, this negative 2 into the 5x, and this negative 3 into both the 2x and the 1. So let's get started with that. It will make things pretty long, but sometimes we have to make things longer before we can simplify them. So 2 times 3 gives us 6x, and 2 times 4 gives us 8. So we've distributed this into both pieces. Now equals, now we need to distribute this negative 2 into this 5x, so that gives us negative 10x. And finally, we have to distribute this negative 3 into both these terms. So negative 3 times 2x gives us negative 6x, and negative 3 times 1 gives us negative 3. All right, looking better. Now, I see right away that I have some like terms on this side of the equal sign that I could combine right now. You can combine them right now or move them right now. It's up to you. Why don't we combine them right now just to make things a little bit cleaner on the eyes? So we'll leave our left side of the equation the same. And we have a negative 10x plus a negative 6x. Well, 10 plus 6 is 16. And since they're both negative, that gives us negative 16x. And our negative 3 stays the same. That's looking a lot better, and it's looking more like problems you've probably already seen. Well, the next thing is to start moving things around so that we have all the x's on one side and all the numbers on the other side. I've found from experience that leaving the largest, leaving the largest numbers and the positive numbers on their own side saves a lot of time. Since this negative 16 is the smallest value for x, I'm going to move it over. So I'm going to go and add 16x to both sides. That will end up to cancel those off. So we get 16x plus 6x. Well, that gives us 22x. Okay, 22x plus 8 equals negative 3. It's negative 3 because this negative 16 cancels off with the positive one that we added in. And we added one to the other side because, well, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. Okay, we're left with this now, which is looking a lot nicer. Well, I need to get rid of this 8 right here and move it to the other side. So that's going to end up subtracting 8 from this side. And if I subtract 8 from here, I have to subtract 8 there. So that ends up looking like 22x is equal to negative 3 minus 8, which negative 3 minus 8 are going to combine to give us minus 11. So 22x is equal to negative 11. Looking good. Now I want to get rid of this 22 that's being multiplied by my x because I always want the x by itself. So the opposite of multiplying by 22 is dividing by 22. And if I divide by 22, we will have the same term top and bottom, and they will be able to cancel off and become 1. But because I did this to the left side of the equation, I have to do it to the right side of the equation as well. And that gives us an answer of x equals negative 11 over 22. Wait a sec, we can simplify that. This simplifies to negative one half. Because 11 divided by 22 simplifies, we can divide both top and bottom by 11 to get one over two. So our final answer is negative one half. You might see your answer as negative 0.5, so choose the one that best matches your result.